here we are at one of the beaches at Dongra. This one is known as Sea Spray Beach. There is a warning here that warns of drop off and strong rips. So if you do choose to use this beach for a swim, do be cautious and swim at your own risk. There is also a sign here representing if you get into trouble which beach to quote, being the Shire of Irwin. The Sea Spray Beach is located just near the Gide Karam Park. If you choose to come down to the Sea Spray Beach, there is a toilet block with showers available within close vicinity as well. Here we are down at Port Denison, which is where the main fishing boat harbour is within Dongara. Within this area there's a lovely little beach area, very, very sheltered waters. As we look down towards this way, we have a toilet facility and there is also a boat ramp as well if you're planning or putting a boat into the water. A nice little small playground with swings, little spinning thing, couple of, and a merry-go-round as well. And just over here, plenty of seating facilities available in a sheltered area. Adjacent to the Port Denison Harbour, you have the Port Store. The Port Store offers various takeaway foods, hot drinks, burgers, and chips, fish and chips. So if you want to ask for sure, it's the place to go. From the uh, lookout down at the end of the Port Terrier, which you can identify by You get this lovely panoramic view across to the reef areas. This is actually a tribute to the HMS Bruegel, a tribute to Lieutenant John Lott Stokes and his crew of the survey ship MS Beagle. the Linda to commemorate the loss of the Vigilant Linda near this point, 11th November 1853. So if you're interested in shipwrecks, this park represents that one. And as we continue around, we'll see what else there is. There's also a memorial dedicated to the fishermen of Dongra to Point Denison who lost their lives at sea. Just on, on the entrance to Dongara, there is a giant lobster sitting on what represents a small sailing boat. This is an ideal landmark for finding your point of origin for Dongara. And especially if you're looking for your big things, this is also can be seen here. Probably not as big as the others, but it is known as the Big Lobster. There 
there's a Dongra Heritage Walk. It looks like to be rather interesting. This building here is number 26 of the Heritage Walk and looks like it's used for a craft area. And something I did actually notice is this sign here. Second Dongra School, 1906 to 1972. Council Chambers leading down to the Visitor Information Centre Public Library and the Museum for the Police Station as well I can see A historical walk down there, and do you know the bridge has got quite a bit of well, I should have said not the bridge, the water, the waterways is quite full. Nice little walk going across the the bridge. Just over the bridge I noticed this little painted items. Oh, so some of might just sort of have a bit of a wander around here and See what they're all about. Maybe even the kids who are watching this video can give their own little talk to mum or dad or grandparents, whoever they may be watching the video with. We have a little fairyland here. So you can let your imagination it's a seal. Just have a seal there. And over here. We have a lighthouse. And there's a view of the estuary, the Irwin River. Oh, 
bosses anybody. Or maybe a game of tic-tac-toe. Yeah, the hop it. Ah, there's my, there it is. Skip one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. How many of you play hopscotch today?